one. Let me see. All right. Everybody warm your hands together. Two clap. Bow. They do my best. Good. Back to jogging. Just start jogging. Just keep jogging. Keep going. Keep going. If you are still getting the supplies you need, it's okay. We're going to use them in a few minutes. I just don't want you guys to have to run all over the house to get them in a minute. All right, good. We're jogging, Bella. We're jogging. Keep jogging. Keep jogging. Come on, Joseph. Use your arms, too. Good. Switch. Everybody show me 25 jumping jacks. Ready? Go. 25. There you go. Nice. Arms all the way up and all the way back down. <laughs> Kaden, I love how with the background, it makes you look like you have like four arms, dude. There you go, nice work. Good, 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 very nice. After you are done with your jumping jacks, feet apart, hands on your hips, 25 V-bends, go, go, go. Oh man, who's taking a water break already? Keep going, nice, nice. Knee bends, keep your back straight, back straight. Good job, good job, good job. Good, I'm going to show you 10 push-ups, go. 10 amazing push-ups. Keep your belly off the floor, bend those arms, take your nose down to the floor. Back up, when you're up, you're jogging, you're running, let's go, don't stop, keep going, let's move it, come on, come on. There you go. Oh, man, I love how some of you guys are running with the biggest, cheesiest smile. Let me see who's smiling. Who's a smiling? Oh, I see you. Nice work. Good job. There we go. Matthew, where's the smiling? Good job. Good job. And freeze. Everybody have a seat. Put your legs out straight. Reach down. Grab your toes. If you just joined us, you will need four items. Use this stretching time if you don't have those four items. You need a hat, a shoe, a backpack, and a pillow. I'm going to say it one more time. A hat, a shoe, a backpack, and a pillow. Grab them and set them next to you so that you have them when we need them in a second. Don't worry. We're not going to be kicking any of them, um, but we are going to use them for something. So I want, I want everybody to have those things. Feet together, butterfly. Take your nose down to your toes. Come on, Addy. There you go. Touch nose to your toes. Don't just stare at me, man. Feet together, butterfly. Oh, goody. Nice, nice, nice. Take your nose down to your toes. No, don't take your toes to your nose, Ryan. Good, everybody stand up. Good, spread your feet apart. Arun, I'm so glad you joined us. Hey bud, there are four things you're gonna need to get. A backpack, a hat, a shoe, and a pillow. I know, they're weird items. I'm gonna tell you what we need them for in a second. I'm gonna say it one more time. A backpack, a hat, a shoe, and a pillow. Four things. All right, spread your feet apart, reach down, put your fingers on the floor. Ashbot, are you stretching or are you staring at me? Touch the floor, man. There you go. Oh, man, it's a kitty. Now it's a frozen kitty. Oh, it's a moving. All right, good. From right here, everybody bend your left leg. Keep your right leg straight. Make sure your right toes are pointed at the chimney. I don't know why I said chimney. I just mean the ceiling. There you go. Switch, other side. Nice work, good job. Welcome back, Arun. Give me a thumbs up if you found everything you need. All right. Everybody come over here. Everybody take a knee or sit down, but make sure that I can see your head. Oh, goody. Goody, goody, goody. All right, perfect. So I'm gonna explain real quick. Here is what the game plan for the day is, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. We are working on something called visual learning or visual thinking. 
Does anybody have any idea what part of our body we use for visualization or for visual? Your eyeballs! Everybody point your eyes. Eyes, yes, very good. So a lot of times when we teach, we use both visual and auditory or uh, listening tools, right? We both say and demonstrate the moves. Today, we're gonna do some of that, and we're also gonna do a little bit of visual only, which means you will see something and you have to mimic it or do something in response to it. Everybody nod your head yes, if that makes sense. I'm gonna explain in detail what that means a little bit later as far as like what we're gonna be doing. Right now, we're gonna use visual aids as well as auditory directions to help us practice our form. So give me two thumbs up if everyone has all of the things that I asked you to grab. Perfect, you guys are awesome. I know those are kind of weird things to have together. All right, it's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what they're for. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to grab them and bring them over here. Just make sure that they're right next to you. Sit down with them. All right, listen very carefully. This is gonna be really, really important. We are about to make a square. Everybody say make a square. If you have a big space, you want to make sure that you're using as much space as possible, so put them far apart. If you have a little bit less space, then you just make a smaller square. Nod your head if you understand. Perfect. Everybody take your hat, wave it at me. Your hat is gonna be the top, so you're gonna put your hat down in front facing me, closest to me. Go ahead, put it down. Perfect, everybody pick up your backpack. Pick up your backpack. The backpack is gonna go to our left. Again, we're making a square. So it's going over here. Everybody pick up your shoe. The shoe is going to the back. The shoe is gonna be the back, so it should be in a straight line from your hat, but way back here. Which leaves the pillow. The pillow is going to our right. So you're gonna pick it up. Same thing, it should be in a straight line from your backpack, just like that. Can you guys see everything that I have on the floor? Except maybe you can't see the hat, right? But it's in front of you. All right, so just to clarify, if this is how you have it set up, you're gonna give me two thumbs up. Are you ready? Is your hat in front closest to the camera? Two thumbs up, awesome. Is your backpack on this side? Two thumbs up, I like it. Is your shoe behind you? Two thumbs up, good, okay. Is your pillow on this side? Dogs? Two thumbs up, all right, awesome. So here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna do our form, our brown belt form. Listen very carefully because these tools are gonna be our visual aids so that we know which direction to turn. Do you guys understand? All right, so everybody stand up. Stand about in the middle of your square. Everybody stand in the middle. If you're in the middle of your square, take two steps backwards. So you should be about one step in front of your shoe. Everybody is facing me. Everybody's hat is in front of them, right? Thumbs up. All right, good. Everybody get your ready position. We are gonna step our right foot out and palm heel strike. So we are stepping towards our backpack. Everybody show me. Step out, palm heel strike. What? Good, so we punch two, three. Amazing, get your hands ready. Now, we are not Stepping, but we are turning towards our pillow to square block. Ready, go. Your bellies are still facing me. Good. Chop, or I'm sorry, hammer fist. Punch. You're sliding your front foot, or your uh, right foot back, downward knife hand strike. Good, you're gonna step towards your pillow and punch, ready, go. Good job. Now, bend that arm, put the other one out. You are stepping towards your hat, which should be towards me. Ready, turn in low block, go. Nice work. 
right here. You're still stepping to your hat. Step forward and punch. Make sure you pull your hand back. I want to see good focus. Don't be lazy. There you go. Everybody grab your wrist. Your back foot is sliding up behind your other foot. You are going to do a number one side kick. Set your foot down, double knife hand block. Ready, side kick, double knife hand block. Good. Uh-oh, scuddy -os. everybody go back. Good, we are gonna side kick and knife hand strike. I said the wrong thing. So side kick, knife hand strike. There you go. Right now, your right foot should be in front. Good, everybody show me step forward and punch. And step one more time, forwards and punch. Perfect, you guys are doing great, give me a high five. Run back, we're gonna do it again. Remember, you should be about one step in front of your shoe. Stand tall. Ready, stand up. And we're gonna step towards your backpack, palm heel strike, one. Shall we punch two, three? Good, turn towards your pillow and square block. Upset hammer fist. Punch. Foot slides into a rear stance. Excellent. Step towards your pillow and punch. Good, get your hands ready. Pick up your front foot, step towards your hat and low block. Very nice, step forward towards your hat and punch. Joseph, I wanna see strong. Grab this, your wrist, slide up. Doctor, I want you to move your back foot, not your front foot, put that foot back. Slide your back foot up. No, don't switch feet. Slide your back foot like this. There you go. Nice. Everybody show me kick, knife hand strike. Very good job. Towards your hat, step forward, punch. Hey, Audie, are you with me? Step forward and punch. Are you guys ready to move on? Okay, here's where our visual aids are gonna be really important. Stay with me, yes ma'am? All right, get your hands ready for a knife hand square block. You are gonna pick up your back foot, tap your back foot. You are turning over your back shoulder towards your pillow. So everybody show me, pick up back foot, turn towards your pillow, and knife hand square block. Timmy, your back should be to me. Joseph, your back should be to me. Ashbad, your back should be to me. Kaden, knife hand square block. Like this, Kaden. Uh, switch your hands, Kaden. Put this one in front. No, not your feet, man. Put your feet back. Oh, man, now you're, no. Switch your feet, Kaden. There you go. Now put this hands like this. Kaden, face the back. Kaden, face the shoe. All right, uh, I tell you what, everybody go back. Everybody go back. Let's do that turn again, okay? Um, everybody put your right foot in front and your right punch out. Everybody should be coming towards their hat right now. You should be at the top, close to your hat. Is everybody right there? Go ahead, everybody tap their back foot. Say, step this leg. You are gonna pick up this leg. You are gonna turn your back to me and you are gonna step towards your pillow. Ready? Go. There we go, perfect. Good. Put your hands up like a square block and open your hands. Good. You are still stepping towards your pillow and you're gonna do a spear hand. So from right here, step forward and spear hand. So right now, your right foot should be in front and you should have your spear hand out just like this. Show me. Good, watch. I'm gonna turn over my back shoulder. I'm just gonna look behind me towards my backpack and double knife hand block. No, my feet did not move. If your feet moved, you're doing it incorrectly. Good, from right here, I'm gonna do two number two round kicks. Hannah, are you looking at your backpack? Good, I'm gonna kick my back foot and set it in front, kick my back foot and set it in front and double knife hand. So I'm gonna kick one, I'm gonna kick two, and I'm gonna double knife hand block. Right now, your left foot should be in front, 
your back should be to me, and your double knife hand block should be out. Ryan, switch me, bud. Matthew, tap your left leg. Good, everybody go back. Let's do that part again. I know it's a little tricky. If you listen, if you use the visual aids, I promise you will get there. Everybody face me. Everybody back up to where you are right in front of your shoe. Everybody get in your ready stance. Everybody step towards your backpack, palm heel strike. Good, everybody show me punch, punch. Get your hands ready. Turn towards your pillow, square block. Upset hammer fish. Truthy, switch your hands. Punch. Downward knife hand strike. Step towards your pillow and punch. Good. Step towards your hat and low block. Step forward and punch. Good. Grab your wrist. Slide up. Kick and chop. Step forward towards your hat and punch. Step forward and punch. Good. Right now, everybody should have their right foot in front and their right hand out. Good. From right here, remember. And then go ahead and back up to where you're in the middle of your square. So you should be on either side of you should be your backpack and your pillow. But your right foot is in front and your right hand is out. Good. Everybody, get your hands ready. Beautiful. Everybody say, my back foot. I want you to step. You're going to turn your back to me. Your back is going to stay facing me as you step towards your pillow. And I'm going to square walk. Wait, don't go yet. Don't go yet. Ready? Go. Ashbad, can you go back? Put your right foot in front, please. Okay, now pick up your back foot. Turn over your back shoulder. No, you... Turn all the way to your pillow. Dude, point to your pillow. Okay, your foot should be right next to it. So pick up your back foot and turn and put your foot next to your pillow. No, the other way. Go the other way. From right here, everybody tap your back leg. I want you to step your back leg. Doc, that is your front leg. Tap your back leg. Step your back leg even closer to your pillow. Your hands. Go. There you go. You guys are looking great. All right, check this out. From right here, all you're going to do is look over your shoulder, look at your backpack, and do a double leg hand block. Don't move your feet. Don't move your feet. Perfect. So your belly should be facing me. Show me your double knife hand. Good. When I say go, you are going to do two number two round kicks. So from here, I'm going to kick, I'm going to kick, I'm going to land in a double knife hand block. Are you ready? Go. Beautiful. Okay. Are you guys ready to learn just one more move? Everybody tap the foot closest to your backpack. You are gonna step towards your shoe and low block, okay? So right here, we're stepping towards our shoe and low block. Ready, go. Doc, I don't think that's your shoe, I think that's your hat. So you should be facing away from me. Perfect, okay, everybody come over here. Come over here, come over here. Hey guys, I know that it's a little bit tricky, okay? I know that it's tricky. Ryan, you give mom a big hug for helping you out, because that was awesome. Yeah, there you go. You guys did a really, really good job with that. Just so you know, if you are only a brown belt and you're not a senior brown, you only need to know up to the last punch. The turning and the spear handing and the kicking, you don't need to know that part. Do you guys understand? 
but it doesn't hurt to learn it ahead of time because you're gonna have to know it when you're a senior brown belt. Does that make sense? All right, I tell you what, I have a game for you guys. Are you ready to play a game? Remember how I said we're gonna do um, some of our learning both with our ears and our eyes, and then we're gonna do something where we just use pictures? All right, so here's my game. I'm about to get it set up. Here's what you have to do. I'm gonna show you a bunch of different pictures, one at a time. Whatever the picture either says or does, that is the move you have to do. For example, it might be a picture of someone doing a sidekick. What do you think you have to do? A sidekick, good. It might be a blank, it's not like a, a picture. It might say something, it might say hook kick. You have to read it and then do it as fast as you can. We've been working on our reaction a lot, so the goal is to move as fast as you can. If there is more than one picture on the screen, you have to do all three of them. Does that make sense? Or all two or however many there are. All right, very good. So everybody show me 10 amazing push-ups and then get in your ready stance. Get in your ready stance. All right, so this is a visual thinking and a reaction game. Is everybody in their ready stance? Good, make sure that each time you do a move, go back to your ready stance, okay? All right, ready, set, go. Here's the first one. What does that look like? A round kick, right? Yeah, there you go, back to your ready stance. Read it and react quickly. Hook kick, good. What's that? Double knife hand block, I like it. What about this one? Good. Square block. Good, keep going, you guys are doing great. Knife hand square block, good. Move as fast as you can. What is that? Good, all right, so here's what we're gonna do. Those are the different things that you will see this time, I'm not gonna help you out at all, so I'm not gonna say anything, are you ready? Gotta move fast. Good reaction time, guys. Nice, stay focused, Timmy. Oh yeah, back to your ready stance each time. Good, make sure you lock out the move. Keep those hands up when you kick. Good, I like that you guys are loading. You're not just putting your hands up. Keep those hands up when you kick. Great job, guys. Really nice work. Okay, so we went pretty slow. This time we're gonna go a lot faster. Are you guys ready? All right. You guys are doing a fantastic job.
What do you think? How did you guys do? Give me a thumbs up if you think you did a really great job. Let me see those th thumbs up. Let me see. I thought you guys did awesome. You guys were really, really great. It was a lot trickier when we were moving a lot faster, right? Your brain had to react really, really quickly. You guys did a really, really good job with that. Next time, I'm gonna have one that's even trickier for you, okay? Really, really tricky, yeah? Okay, awesome job. Does anybody, oh, real quick, I have a question. On a couple of the slides, there was a secret word that you had to remember. Now, it's pretty tricky to read something while actually doing something. Can anyone raise their hand? Does anyone know what the secret word was? Oh, quite a few of you. You know what, Kaden? Kaden, do you know what it is? Kaden, no, you raised your hand. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, Bella, go ahead and unmute your mic and tell me. Tiger. Tiger, raise your hand if you thought it was tiger. That's right, you guys did a great job with that. Really, really nice. I tell you what, everybody do 10 more amazing push-ups for me. All right, go ahead and bring it in a little bit closer. If you had fun with that game, give me two thumbs up. All right, awesome, I like, I like it. Now, you guys did a really good job with your form. I know that for a couple of us, it was a little bit tricky. Remember, you can always go back and watch the reference videos that are uploaded to Facebook. Remember, only the white stripe is gonna be what you need to know right now. The blue, the black, and the red were for last time, but the white stripe is the same. It doesn't matter what cycle with the advanced classes we are on. So you can always watch that. We broke it down a little bit slower. Mr. Shakur actually does it while Master Freeman explains it. And so it's really, really helpful to use as a tool for extra practice. Everybody give me a thumbs up if you understand. All right, very good, guys. We have a couple of minutes. Does anybody have any questions about the form or anything else? If you do, go ahead and unmute your mic. Make sure you tell me your name. Hi. Hello. I have a question. This is um, Docs. Okay, Docs, what's your question? Um, what is the bow staff move? The bow staff block. That is a great question. So it's really similar to our square block. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make our hands look like C's like this. We're gonna put them on our sides like this. This one is gonna go out like it's grabbing something. And this one goes up above our head. So I can really important with that is you wanna make sure, can you guys not see my screen? No, ma'am. Hang on one second for me. I can see your screen. All no, right. ma'am. Can you see me now? Yes, okay. ma'am. So you're making two C's with your hands. The load is like this on your side. This hand is going out in front like you're grabbing something. And this hand goes up above your head. You wanna make sure your hands are in a straight line. You guys know what a bow staff is, right? It's like a really long staff that you can use. So this is a bow staff block. So you're grabbing and stopping the bow staff. Now, super cool thing to look forward to. With your red belt, the red belt form, there's actually this move where you do a bow staff block and you jump it and you spin all the way around. What that's demonstrating is you're doing a bow staff block, you're grabbing it, you're jumping, you're spinning all the way around, and then you're whacking someone with a bow staff block. That sounds pretty cool, right? Who, who thinks they wanna learn that? Okay, me too. I'll tell you what, maybe next class we can even, even learn it. Doc's great question. Does anybody else have a question? Hi, my name is Chevy, so like, I, my mom said that I can't um, get my belt and those things until the coronavirus is gone. That's okay, Chevy. We are going to hold on to it for you. Don't worry. We have a lots of students who are in the exact same boat because mom and dad just want to make sure that you're staying safe. So we will have it here for you when you come back. Okay. Any other questions? I have a question. My name is Aria. Hello, Aria. Nice to meet you. Where, where can we find reference videos? On Facebook. They are uploaded in the video section. So what you would do is you would go to Facebook and then you go to videos and then 
You go to albums and they're right there for you. Okay, thanks, Ms. McKenzie. You're very welcome. Shh. Any other questions? Don't raise your hand, man. Unmute your microphone and say your name. Ashmad, if you have a question, you gotta unmute your microphone. My name is Ashford. What does the secret word mean? Oh, it just, I was just looking to see who was paying extra attention during the game. Oh. Okay. Any other questions? Real quick, I got time for one more. Awesome. You guys did a really, really good job today. Everybody stand up. Everybody warm your hands together. Everybody show me two claps. Everybody bow and say, did my best. Great work, guys. Give me a high five. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, yeah, there you go. You guys have a great rest of your evening, and we will see you tomorrow.